Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over here at eTrader, where you can follow our trades and even copy your trades. So the link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin, and as you can see, nothing has really happened today. We are still just um, hanging around here at the 50 moving average. If you look at technical indicators, they are, well, kind of turning around. They are fairly flat at this current stage. So we have the MACD is bearish and still in positive territory. The stochastic looks like it's going to cross the signal line indicating bullish momentum. The CCI is turning around also indicating bullish momentum. And the RSI is technically flat at this current stage. But I think the more interesting thing is back here in the weekly chart. As uh, I have pointed out on my on my feed here at Etero that we are most likely going to see a crossing of the signal line here indicating bearish momentum in the weekly chart. And we haven't seen a crossing of the signal line. We have to go all the way back to basically October or the beginning of November last year when this basically this bullish run continued and started. So we can see it's um, right here. So we can see that the bullish run basically starts here, uh, give or take uh, around $10,000, $12,000 uh, range. And we stopped at the very highs of the 64K. So yes, uh, quite a lot, uh, quite a run to be fair to honest of 6K uh, in nearly half a year. So if we have a crossing here, that could be an indication that the, we are basically going to see a downtrend from, from now on. But we haven't seen the crossing yet. It is really close. We have a crossing here of the, of the stochastic, but we also have seen several of those crossings. But we have not seen a crossing of the MACD um, since basically um, in November, October, last in the, uh, based in November. And that could be something that signals that we are about to trend the opposite way. So this was basically the very highest and now we're basically going back to the very lows we could see look at the fibonacci retracement and see how far we could drop so we have the first fibonacci retracements here that is at the uh, 43,000. then we have the 50 here at the 37,000, and then all the way down to 31k so if we were to drop from here that is most likely going to be the support levels where we are going to bounce from but it is to keep in mind that if we have a crossing here that could mean that we will start trending to the downside and the uptrend will basically be over at this current stage but that is to be seen it is um, difficult to to uh, to um, to go against this massive uptrend but that is basically what the weekly chart is showing us so if we were to rally from here, we'll most likely find resistance at uh, 58K. And if that breaks, then we'll go to the all-time highs again at uh, 65, 64K and beyond that. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum is uh, much more bullish than Bitcoin is at its current stage. So we bottom out down here at 1941 and now we're trading at uh, 2308. Technical indicators are merely turning around here. So we'll most likely go and retest these previous highs and uh, probably go towards uh, 2500 or probably 3000 within the next few weeks. Breakdown from here, we'll most likely find a major support down here at the fifth moving average so let's look at cardano so cardano went all the way up towards uh, 1.5 and then broke all the way down to the very bottom at 1.05 it hasn't really recovered yet we are hanging um, just underneath the 20 exponential moving average at 1.2397 if we break above the 20 exponential, then we are most likely going back to the previous highs here. If we break down, then we will go probably towards the very bottom of the bullish band. So technical indicators are merely all over the place. So we basically need a clear signal um, 
to where we are basically going otherwise to the upside or towards the downside it is not clear at this current stage so let's look at litecoin so litecoin has also been really choppy the last uh, few days we had this major pullback towards the middle of the bullish band uh, from the very high zero at 331 all the way down towards the 230 uh, for so then roughly a hundred um, dollar drop at this current stage we're trading at 265 uh, technical indicators are well also fairly all over the place macd is crossing the signal line becoming bearish the stochastic is bearish the cci is uh, becoming bullish and the rsi is technically flat but it looks like we have found the bottom here and we are about to turn around back towards the upside that is what it looks like but if we break below in the middle of the bullish band we could head towards the 50 moving average and probably also the very bottom here at 183. so let's look at neo so neo has been well it has been very volatile to say the least so we did have this massive rally all the way up to 132 and then we broke down yet again all the way down to 90 96 and then we rallied yet again and now we're trading 109 nine dollars yes technical indicators they are fairly all over the place we are still significantly overbought so we did pull back quite aggressively but usually you grind slowly to the upside you ju don't just go back towards the 20 exponential and within a few hours we rally actually well nearly um what was this this was down here almost 60 dollars in basically no time i kind of expect this to basically pull back to, at some point back towards at least a hundred dollars or probably even towards the middle of the bullish band before we continue higher the rsi number is just too high for this to um, all of a sudden rally back towards these previous highs um, it will be extremely volatile um, if that it were to happen so i i kind of expect this to pull back before going higher because due to the fact that we are significantly overstretched and uh, also overbought at this current stage so let's look at dash so dash also rallied all the way up to 403 broke down towards the 250 give or take and then rallied so very similar to, uh, to litecoin it looks like we are slowly going to grind back towards the previous highs here if we were to break below the 20 exponential that opens the door to the 50 at 242 and uh, below that we can drop towards 210 otherwise we will probably go back towards the top of the bullish band at 360. so let's look at tron so tron also had this rally here broke towards the 20 exponential has not really recovered from this drop so we did break below the 20 exponential and then rally but at this current stage we're just at the middle of the bullish band technical indicators are fairly bearish for this cryptocurrency so we could see this um, stay here for a while but uh, as long as we are finding support here it is more likely that we'll just turn around here and head back towards these previous highs if we break below the 20 exponential that could open the door all the way down towards the 50 moving average at 0 0.08 but overall if for example bitcoin starts dropping that will most likely have uh, ripple effects over the crypto uh, entire cryptocurrency market so i still think that the crossing in the weekly chart of the macd uh, will be very significant so it was going to be really interesting to see what basically happens there because it's not something that happens um, every day the last time we basically saw that was basically the end of october or beginning of november and since then we have basically been in a rally so it is to be seen whether or not we have that crossing and what that will basically what effect that will have on the cryptocurrency market so let's um so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much mm -hmm.